Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but life's going to be a lot harder for you than it was for my generation. What's happened is a few of the very wealthiest people in this country have got control of a vast majority of the money. My generation was the land of opportunity. Uh, there were a whole lot of middle-income people, very few poor people, a whole lot of middle-income people, and a very, just a few wealthy people. Today what we've got is a whole bunch of very well, of poor people. We've got quite a few well-to-do people, a very few very wealthy people, and then a, the middle class is kind of like just not doing as well as it used to. The, the problem here then is you're going to have to figure out how to be one of the successful people. I gotta tell you, in America, <laughs> you can be angry with me if you want, but the quickest way to become poor is to be a single parent. It's just don't do it. <laughs> the people who are doing well, by and large, tend to be married people with two good jobs, two incomes. That's who tends to be doing well. You need to avoid bad debt. Bad debt will sink you. Bad debt will make it impossible for you to live the American dream, or make it impossible for you to buy your own home. Avoid bad debt, and then you really need to make about $20 an hour. You know, the two of you together at least need to be making about $20 an hour with no bad debt to be successful in America. Again, go through this program, and what you'll see is these are not my numbers. <laughs> these are numbers that are put out by the people who are actually willing to lend you money to buy a house. That's where we're at in this country. We've gone for where, from where we had this huge middle class, you know, people who could afford to buy a new car, could afford to buy a house, to where that's become much more difficult. Yeah, again, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but life is going to be difficult unless you manage your money well.